everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 18th, 2021. So today we have decide to be happy now and the prayer says, thank you for helping me open my heart to happiness, joy, and bliss. I am now willing to see all of the goodness in my life. Now this is the Archangel Michael deck. I don't usually encourage people to pray to angels, but you know, an invocation, like however you want to see it, that's what the card says. And then we also have, it's time to leave this unhealthy situation. Uh, Archangel Michael, what parts of my life do I need to focus on more closely right now? Thank you for helping me hear your answers and for giving me the courage to make healthy changes in my life. So this is saying we have the control to choose happiness, yes, to choose the happiness and to choose to leave or transform a certain situation. So there could be things that are going on in your life. We get into the blame game. We're getting out of our joy. We think that other people have control over how we feel. And you know, there can be definitely upsetting things that are coming up, but you're getting clarity here. <laughs> and Archangel Michael is helping you cut the cords to something that is long overdue. That's the feeling I get here. It's like, it's long overdue to be done with something. Now for some of you, You'll do the clearing. You'll decide to be happy. You'll do your healing. You might leave a situation, whatever that might be. Or it could be a past situation that you still, like I say, you know, have some attachment to. Once you clear this away, you might find that the situation transforms. So it does not go on. Let's be clear. It does not go on in the same way it always has. But it becomes something else. Yes? Uh, and yet for some of you, you finally just put something to rest. Now, if you were looking for guidance, remember all choices are yours. Uh, you have control over your free will and all that. But if you are in a toxic dynamic, I always say, please make sure you're reaching out and getting proper help. And I have, in the time that I've been doing this work, as of the recording of this, I've been doing this for going on eight years now, and I have had to do certain interventions, okay, I'm not going to use the word, um, but I've had people come to me and we've done that. And I've also had people come and they are in these, um, again, I have to be careful with what I say, incredibly toxic relationships where they were concerned for their safety and the safety of their children and, you know, having to help them work all that out. I mean, you know, lean on the people that are near you. Okay. Cause I, in, in doing, having those situations, I felt very powerless and helpless. Okay. Because I wasn't right there with them. Um, but we collectively kind of, you know, we all kind of pitched in and figured it out and worked as a team and we got, you know, well, I didn't, you know, they, uh, the, the people that are in charge of helping people like that, um, were able to get them out of a toxic situation into safety. So it worked out really well, but if you are in a bad situation like that, always first and foremost, lean on the experts. Okay. Go lean on the experts. There are groups out there, organizations that can help you most certainly. Okay. So there's that part of it. Now, if you are in a toxic loop of rumination and you are, oh man, you just can't let it go. It's like a broken record. It's just like over and over and over and over and over again. It is time to cut yourself free from that turmoil, from that situation, uh, whatever that memory. Okay. So this might also be for some of you going back, I think I said this a couple of days ago, maybe going back and revisiting a certain story that you've been telling yourself. Okay. And seeing what the whole picture is around that and getting your power back in a way of like that situation doesn't define me, but rather I'm looking at it. I see, you know, where my choices were. I've learned from those choices and now I feel like I'm not, um, a victim to my circumstances, or I'm not a victim to that story, or I'm not a, you know, that narrative. I'm not, I have power. I have power and I can help myself. Again, if you are in a very bad situation, please make sure that you have the proper help before you make a move. Okay. So there's that. Uh, what do you need to let go of? What needs to be laid to rest? 
situationally, okay? Maybe for some of you, there's this term going around called situation ship. Oh, people. Uh, <laughs> I do, do love the creativity. Okay, so I'm getting cabochons here. Okay. There's Uriel, Archangel Uriel, truth. All right, so being fired up enough to speak your truth, don't do this in like a negative way though. Love, yeah, come at it with love. Love for self. And Archangel Samuel is known as the Archangel of Love. And then we have Grounded. Yeah, this is the practical part of it. So if you need, like I keep saying, if you need support, if you need help, there are people who are trained to help you with that. Uh, so remain grounded as you approach everything with love. So this is about balancing. Bring Archangel Sandalfin into this as well to balance uh, whatever whatever this situation is. And I was going to say balancing the spiritual self with the physical self, because that's usually what Archangel Sandalfin helps with and is also known as the Archangel of Music. But as soon as I felt that balancing energy, I felt people resisting that. So there's probably still a lot of like blame game going on here. And it's time to leave that behind. You're not going to get anywhere. I'm talking about in other situations. Uh, you're not going to get anywhere if you continue down that path, you're not going to grow. You're not going to, you're going to be kind of uh, just still in that negativity of it. And maybe the fear, maybe the pain. And maybe you keep sort of re-injuring yourself in an emotional way by repeating a story over and over and over. So what can you let go of? What can you release for your sake and for everyone's sake, for the highest good of everyone involved? Give that some attention today. All right, so we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.